Hey everybody, this is Chad. We're going to find out what happens to these hair clownfish eggs in this video. Thanks for watching. Pots, which are kind of our little man-made enemies, are really convenient in terms of getting those uh, eggs out of there. In my tank, the eggs that we show, they're on the back wall. It's impossible to get them off that back wall without killing them. Damaging them. So you have a system where you just take that flower pot and you move it somewhere else. We'll take this flower pot out and we'll move it to another tank that's already set up with water and a heater. And then we'll take a clean flower pot, put it in here, and within probably three, four days, they'll be laying eggs again. Oh, that's awesome. Will you show us where you take this flower pot? Yes, that would be over here to the next um, area. So, Bobby brought me over here. What are these tanks for? These are where we hatch out the fish. What we'll do is we'll set up a tank over here. This is an empty tank that's ready for tonight. Later on tonight, I'm going to move one of the flower pots with eggs in here and hatch it out. And by tomorrow morning, we're going to have a whole bunch of baby clownfish. Okay, so now I'm looking at this tank and this tank that have a bunch of baby clownfish, but that's that's not what they're going to look like when they first hatch, right? No, these fish right here are actually ready to move into the grow out system. But if you come down here on the end, these are just a couple days old. You can see them pretty much on the wall right up top here. You can see a bunch. That's clownfish that were born on the 12th, which was just a couple days ago. These fish are incredibly small. How long does it take them to get from that size to the size you sell? Typically about four months to six months. At the six months, we're typically selling the fish. So you're really taking care of these fish for a long time. There's a lot of work on these too, because these tanks right here, we got to do a water change on them every day, at least about 30% of the water, and they get fed seven times a day. Okay, so these are 10 gallon tanks? These are 10 gallon tanks. Okay, so you're going to do three gallons, three gallon water change, like clockwork every day? Every day on these tanks there. Let's say, let's say you didn't. What would, what would be the result of that? We've had that happen before. We would go out, we would get busy, and then you come back and you'll see them on the bottom gasping for air. So if you skip the water change, more than likely you're going to have a lot of dead fish. Okay, so it's absolutely it's, essential. You what have to do care? this. You okay. have to be very detail-oriented. Okay. So once we got this little fish, you're gonna, are you going to leave it in this tank? It's going to be from the flower pot hatched out in here until it moves to the other system. Okay. As you see these tanks, this one's green and this one has a filter right here. With this tank here, there's rotifers, which is a live food that's in there. And we add the green algae in it to keep the rotifers fed. After about eight days, nine days, they're no longer on rotifers and we've already got them broken into eating dry foods. And at that time we put a filter on just to help with the water quality. So how old are these right here? These guys are three weeks old and tomorrow we'll be moving them into the grow out system. Okay, so before you show me the grow out system, I want to show everybody, so you, you talked over there about you, you breeding neon gobies and you have some over here and I want to show everybody those. This is a neon goby uh, fry tank. When fry are born, they're in a larval stage. They don't really even look entirely like fish. And as you look at this, as I look at this, I don't see anything. So Bob has a uh, magnifying glass. So we're going to see if we can actually look. There we go. So now you can see those guys swimming around. And those, those are the fish larvae, the fry. And how long is it going to take these guys to get to where they even look like a fish? Well, this is the first one that we've actually moved on these here. So I'm not really sure. I think it's going to take at least about three weeks before we start to see it even looking like a fish. So they'll probably be over here a little bit longer. So this is one of those experiments that keeps you on your, on your toes. Got to try new things all the time. So as we've talked about these things, you've talked about the time frames, and it seems like there's a lot of organization that goes on for you to remember what's in what tank. Do you have a system that helps you to remember what, what a particular fish is eating and all, all that kind of stuff? We have different magnets, which we have down here right now. 
if it only has a green magnet on it right here, it will say rotifers, and that's the only thing that we feed the fish. We go from there to a product GP, which is a very fine product, and from there we go to a TDO A product, which is another very fine ground up product. So these are foods that you can purchase, but they're very specific for fish of this size. It's almost like dust, and with the fish of this size right here, if the food is too big, they're not going to eat it. Okay, so I'm never going to be able to take the food I buy at Petco or PetSmart and feed it to these guys. You could, but you would have to grind it up really small, which is another time-consuming process. Okay, so that's a lot. Of, when you're talking about all these fish, that's a lot of work. It's a lot of work considering that these fish here get fed seven times a day. Okay, and then now I kind of understand too how why you have to do water changes so often. If you're putting food in there that is fine powder your water quality is going to suffer quickly if you if you don't keep up on it. You have to do the water changes. Okay. You have to do it daily. It's a very time consuming because as you're doing this, you're also siphoning out live fish. So what you have to do then is catch the live fish and put them back in. So And some of these, especially like the neon gobies, they're clear, so they're very hard to see. So you're really looking for movement. I didn't even think about that. that uh, it's funny, as you mentioned water changes, never crossed my mind that you're going to be sucking out fish. Yes. So the amount of time it takes to do a water change isn't pull out three gallons, put in three gallons. No, we can have easily an hour with these 12 tanks right here. Okay. And at any given time, we can have five to 20 tanks set up. So that's when it really gets okay. burdensome. <laughs> Okay, I didn't, that's interesting for me. I didn't even think about that kind of work that you have to do. Yes. It, it, all of this is already a lot of work, and to, to think about you've got to protect your livestock from, from getting sucked out of the tank, that's, that's pretty interesting. This is a difficult stage over here. Uh, comparing this to a hospital, this would be the intensive care unit okay. when the tanks behind us to grow out, which we're going to get to next, is more like a hospital bed right on down to they're getting ready to be released within a day. So if this were if this were in my tank, like if my eggs hatched, they're going to come out looking like the, the tiny ones down there. But they're going to get eaten, right? They're going to be in your protein skimmer. They're going to be eaten. The corals would get them. The other fish would get them or any kind of mechanical filtration. So if somebody ever managed to breed a baby clownfish in a reef tank, it would be a miracle. It just won't happen. Okay. <laughs> it's not going to happen. So after we're done with this, um, Show me what happens next to these guys. Hey everybody, in the next video we're going to see how we go from these tiny little fry, little fish that are not really even fish, they're larvae, to larger clownfish, how he feeds them, and things like that. So it should be uh, interesting. It's the time we get to see some actual uh, clownfish, tons of them. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.